Hi, it's Mindy from Time to Unwind. And I've got a couple things. Mostly I've got the Paradise Fiber Box for July, which after how late everything came last month, I'm really tickled. Well, I guess Paradise didn't come too late. But I also wanted to show you my progress to date for the uh, Hat Not Hate campaign. I am working on another one. I love this yarn. I've started it a couple of times and taken it out and restarted and taken it out and restarted. And so I don't know what I'm going to end up with. Whoops, that's the wrong side. It would help if I could see better. So right now here's where I am with this. Um, foundation double crochet, then some treble crosses. Um, not quite um, Kelly Cables because, you know, can't follow a pattern. Just, you know, totally, totally um, unable to stick with patterns. So it starts out Celtic Cable, then I have a row of double crochet, then more Celtic Cable, then right now I'm doing double crochet. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with it. It'll be a hat. And then a, my original one that was a, a, a leaf that could be slouch or it could be turned up. Or it could be reversed as a slouch or a turn up. Um, yeah. And then my second one that is two sided, like a hot pad, teal blue and royal blue with a stripe around the top. And then I finally finished my Apache Tears hat, which I kind of made up as I went to, but it looks good. And if you don't like the tears, you can have the stripe and bow on top is because the pom-pom is removable. So anyway, so that's where I am now. And my sister's going to drop them off at around the table yarns in in um, Shaker Heights because um, they are the closest drop-off point that I know otherwise uh, if she can't do it I'll probably stick them in a five dollar mailer and mail them off so that's my uh, hats not hate work in progress and I will probably actually listen to audiobooks and actually get a couple more done by the time she picks them up, depending on when she picks them up. There was a sale at Around the Table Yarn. Um, the Sheep G Cotton is on sale for two and a quarter a ball. They have a nice selection. Not huge amounts of everything left, but a nice selection. But for two and a quarter a ball for Sheep G Cotton, not bad, not bad. Um, and so my sister was emailing me back and forth. Oh, 210 with 205, 210 with <laughs> um, just all sorts of color combinations. So I ordered a bunch and we'll see. I don't know what I'll make with it, but I was in the mood for, after this, I was in the mood for mosaic crochet. So we'll see. So anyway, back to Paradise Fibers. And so here is my box. It came today. It was here when I got home from running some errands. I felt like making colonies tonight. I had to get a few ingredients, stop and got something for my neighbor. So, Paradise Fiber. And the picture on the front looks like a bunch of mermaids. And I don't want to read the whole thing, but you see, look at that, the wrapping paper is all sparkly blue. And let's see what's inside. It's a seaworthy. 
sequin yarn. The merfolk have been a source of magic, mystery, and beauty for centuries. <laughs> Celebrate summer with cool underwater color tones, tantalizing texture, magical iridescence inspired by these mythical creatures in our newest blend, Mermaid. Dive into the world of possibilities with this multi-hued textural blend of the boast and whimsical wonder. Take on a dyeing project with our featured cellulose fiber produced from seaweed, or pair the two fibers together by blending or plying for a unique yarn gleaming with artistic porpoise. <laughs> Read on for our featured sequin add-in spinning tutorial that will take you to your yarn depth and unexpected. Oh yeah. I can't even read things in the right order. It will take you your yarn to depths unexplored. However you decide to craft with these fibers, you're sure to be mesmerized by their individual beauty and hidden treasures. So, seaworthy sequin yarns. So, let's see what's in here. So... Set a seal on sparkling spinning adventure by adding sequins to your yard. Whether auto-wrapping a bulky single, adding dimension to a thick and thin creation, or landing, blending a bit of shimmer to a lace labor of love. And they're directing you to a YouTube video over at Sotch. Shotch? I can never say that. On and so let's look at the sequins involved. Okay. So I got the purplish ones. Now I know they also sent out some blue ones to some people because I saw a video. But I got the purplish ones. Those are pretty. And they sent a threading tool which is kind of like a dental floss threader. <laughs> what else have we here? Eunice! Eunice is disguised as a mermaid with her mermaid tail. And she's all iridescent. Ooh, and there's a piece of saltwater taffy instead of a tea bag. <laughs> and what have we here? A placeholder or stitch marker? That looks like Eunice. I know they probably supposed to, you're probably supposed to say Eunice, but I always say it wrong. So those are cool. I asked my son if he wants to pull his teeth out with taffy. Smells nice. Do you want taffy? No, he says. <laughs> Ooh, the packing material's pretty. And you hear the dog in the background. She's got all sorts of weird comments today. The packing material is all this glittery, pretty stuff. So, let's look next. Oh, I love these bags. Let's look next at the three ounces of undyed sea cell fiber. A cellulose fiber produced from the pulp of seaweed in a coral print organza bag. Let's see if they... 
Sea Cell is a wonderfully silky fiber which is made in an eco-friendly lyocell process similar to the way that mint, pearl, and rose fiber is made. The cellulose fiber, this cellulose fiber is truly unique. Its base is made from beech trees that have been harvested and ground into a pulp. The pulp is immersed in a water solution and while it is in liquid form, seaweed is added. From there, it is spun into tiny fibers using spinnerets, then hardened and set into solid fibers, dried and cut. The result is long, strong, lustrous, and silky natural fiber. It is next to skin soft. Unlike traditional rayon and viscous fibers, this process actually uses recycled harmless chemicals that do not go back into or contaminate the environment. This makes it a truly closed loose process, utilizing chemicals no more harmful than common table salt and results that are completely renewable, 98% of which are reusable time and again. The algae used to make sea cell fiber is commonly called knotted rack and is found widely in the fjords of Iceland. This fiber is rich in minerals, in minerals, salts, and vitamins, making it a nourishing fiber for your skin. Hmm. But my skin probably isn't going to eat it. Finished garments will be breathable and cool to the touch. Sea cell fiber is known for helping fight dermatitis and psoriasis by limiting inflammation, soothing itchiness, and remineralizing, detoxing, and purifying the skin. So maybe you get some absorption. So it's very lovely. And it, they're encouraging you to post your um, post pictures of what you make. <laughs> This stuff is so nice. I just might have to buy more of it. I have a feeling if it's long fibers. And oh my, it is. That I just may have to um, buy more of it. <laughs> <laughs> it should be easy to spin, too. Oh, my golly. This is nice. I have to think about whether or not to uh, buy some of this to gift to my granddaughter, for instance. Because uh, as a newer spinner, it, she took her um, spindle home from vacation last year. Forgot where she put it. She has found it. But as a newer spinner, this would be very easy for her. So there is that. And uh, that guys. So let me see what they say about the mermaid. The mermaid is in a linen bag. And oh, the linen bag is nice right there. <laughs> How much is it? Three ounces. Let's see what this is like. The colors are gorgeous. It's got a lot of Angelina glitz in it. It's got 65% merino, 5% Angelina glitz, 5% viscous tweed, 25% silk, mulberry, tussa, and recycled sari. 
So, the recycled sari is going to be your naps and your bits of, okay, visually I'm finding it hard to locate the end because I can't quite hold it at the right distance. There we go. So having heard what was in it, you can tell this is soft. Now the Angelina is not all one color. It's iridescent and it's showing up as so many colors think you can even tell in the picture. So what fun. And if you've ever seen my spinning, I tend to spin really, really fine. And I'm looking at this thinking I shouldn't do that with this. I should spin so you can actually see it because <laughs> this is so pretty and besides these nips would be way too big on something that fine not to mention the fact that I have not made a lace shawl in years now this this is just so nice and this particular probably don't want to unwind the whole thing this particular end has a large portion of green but no it doesn't there's a section over here that's more purple and blue this depending on how you spin this this is going to be interesting this is going to be interesting okay so I can sit here and mumble to myself But uh, we are hoping, it's just a few weeks, we are hoping to get to go away on vacation. I've been looking at Manistee, Michigan. Michigan had a rough start. Right now, they're kind of, uh, but where we want to go is Manistee, and they have done really, really well. So we're keeping our eye open, and we may get to go to Manistee, Michigan, and uh, that's going to depend on Ohio, too, so we'll see, but uh, we may get to go on vacation, so, and it's not going to be any big um, bar hopping clubbing or anything like that. It's going to be, oh, let's go for a walk type vacation. Maybe we can go to a, a semi-empty beach. <laughs> you know? um, we'll see. Um, and maybe we can eat out once or go get some food. I will admit there are a couple of yarn places and a quilting place because I'm trying to interest my granddaughter in some various crafts and things and she has a little bit of interest in quilting. Something that never really turned me on, but I'm willing to be flexible, so we'll see. Um, there's really no one else in the immediate family who can teach her much of anything, so I'm willing to be flexible and learn what I need to teach her. 
I don't know. So we'll see what happens. If we don't go, we'll do it at home. So. I hope you've enjoyed this little vicarious opening. And we'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And hit the notification bell so that you know when I come back. Bye-bye.